Technology, the greatest invention of mankind. Its innovative uses are almost as amazing as its downsides. But we'll get to that later. 1984, a novel written by George Orwell, focuses on a dystopian society within the nation of Oceania. The figurehead in charge of Oceania is a man or organization named Big Brother. Big Brother is a authoritarian figure that uses fear and propaganda to control the citizens of Oceania. One of the main ways Big Brother keeps a strong hold on Oceania is through surveillance. The theme of surveillance and being watched is constantly brought up throughout the novel. Not only in the posters labeled Big Brother is watching you, but also through the telescreens constantly watching, leaving nearly no blind spots. This can also be seen in the covers of 1984, since they all have some form of an eye in them, symbolizing the theme of surveillance. Now let's focus on today's society, and that we may be more alike the dystopian society of Oceania than we first thought. Now after hearing what I just said, you may be wondering, what possibly could I mean by that? I mean, there's no way you could be getting watched right now. And there's absolutely no way your information could possibly be getting tracked right now. See, in a perfect world, that would be true. However, this is not a perfect world. And that is why personalized ads exist. I bet we have all had an experience where we were just searching up some type of product and the next day, an ad for that exact same product pops up in our Instagram feed, our TikTok feed, or if you're a middle-aged mother who likes minion memes, your Facebook feed. This is all due to the fact that Google and a lot of other internet browsing apps track and sell your data to other companies so they know that you are or were interested in their product, which is obviously a huge invasion of privacy. Maybe we are a little closer to being a dystopian society than we first thought, and saying that we should just not use social media does not work as an answer to this problem. This is due to the fact that it has now become an addiction for most people, and some use it as their only way of getting information about what is going on in the world right now. Especially for the younger generations, technology and social media companies have grown to have a very strong hold on their lives. Much like how Big Brother controls the society of Oceania. And to demonstrate this, I interviewed my friend Aiden Gorman. How do you feel you use technology? Uh, pretty good. Alright. Uh, do you feel you spent a normal amount of tech, uh, time on technology? Yeah. Alright. Do you feel you're in control of technology and it's not in control of you? Yes. Alright. Um, have you read the novel 1984? Never heard of it. What do you spend on technology? Most of the day. Alright. Maybe it's time we focus on a more positive subject. I mean, technology is not the only thing we have in life. There are sports, art, and literature that are all great things you can do, and things technology has made accessible around the world. And overall, I think that makes it okay. Even if, even if we get watched by security cameras and have our information tracked by tech companies, at the very least, we can still be thankful that we're not getting watched right now. Right? Thank you.